Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods, an upcoming dungeon crawling skill based roguelike where we fight the god of death himself, or at least one of the many gods of death. We've been given a chance to look at the alpha build of the game early and if you want a chance to get into the alpha yourself, I should have a link in the description for where you can uh, find all the relevant sign up type for me stuff. But for now, let's jump on in. And I gotta say right off the bat, I really like the art style of this game. It actually kind of makes me feel like a, it's a 3D darkest dungeon in a way. And I like the aesthetics of that game as well, so good stuff. The death god ruling this place draws power from the darkest places. Light can repel the spreading shadows and reveal many dangers. So we take about 50% more damage while we're in the dark. Light can reveal hidden traps and use our torch to spread the light. And also, smash, uh, yeah. Who doesn't like smashing, uh, pottery, right? Good stuff, all right. Can I, can I light you on fire? Maybe. I don't know if there's any treasure to be had by smashing these things. Also, I think I'm gonna quickly Lower the audio a little. Just a tad. Let's say down to 50. Just so my lovely voice can be heard without, you know, having to raise. Let's see, so what do we got? Section map. Okay, so we can, okay, so we kind of have to follow like a little path and we can go for the gold path, the relic path or another gold path. I think I want to take the path that'll give us the most different stuff, if that makes sense. So I'm actually going to go this way, I think. Because there's the gold, and then there's the combat, and then there's the relic, and all that good stuff. And also, the more we delve into the... Uh-oh. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> okay, so the X button, we can turn off the light. A turns it back on. We can also swing. Alright. And there's some scary death creatures. Okay. Quick, uh... Okay. Block. Dodge roll. That's what I was looking for. Oh, God. Do dodge roll. Okay, kill this guy first. Alright. I got this. I'm gonna die. Chain melee attacks for a finisher, okay? Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna die. Not even gonna make it past the first floor. Range attacks use stamina. Okay, we've got a gun. Okay. Whoa. In my way, ugly. Alright. Okay. I, I, I think I've got a, a general feel for this. Greed kill. Okay, never greed kill. Is that is that for killing them in the dark? Maybe. We'll get a feel for this. We are really totally dead. Whoa! Oh god, they can break the the stuff. Yeah, don't don't do that, gaslight. Bad idea. Ah, oh, you still hit me. Nicely done. We've got the kills. Okay. Ooh, and what's this? An oiled Remington. Which is ever so... Ever so slightly better than what we've got now. And fire for perfect shots. You know, let's lurk in the darkness. Why not? Also, what's this down in the corner? 80 out of 100. Is that our corruption level? That's my guess. Codex of Ancient Guardians. 10% base damage for maces. Well, I'll take it. Maybe I'll turn the lights on so we... We aren't quite so alone. And what do you have for me, my good sir? Precision Bow. Plus one base damage for each dexterity point. Alright. 
Advanced combat moves. Hold melee weapons to attack, then release for a charge attack. Alright. I'm not sure if I really need to do these things. There we go. Alright, okay. Main and secondary weapons can all be combined to trigger crosshands attack. So what is this? Oh, secondary weapon. Okay. I think I'm getting that wrong. Main and secondary weapons. Do I... Maybe I don't have a secondary weapon? I'm, I'm feeling mildly confused by that one, but I'll, I'll figure it out. At some point. Oh, no. We just get more corrupted the deeper we go. Giving us dark fire. Fire itself dominated by the dark power. Some braziros now burn with a dark flame and cannot be lit. Ah. Yes. So it's going to be harder for us to lighten things up. All right. Then we roll out of the way. Roll out of the way. Whoop. All right, save our stamina. Wait for it, wait for it. Nicely done. Out of the way, ugly. Come at me, friendo. Alright, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Oh no. Okay, you know what? Not bad. We're getting the greed kills. That's the important part. Now, I'll admit... Maybe I'm cheesing things a little by just going for the classic, uh... Spamming of the basic attacks. Oh god. <laughs> Barely made it to the second floor. Tisk tisk. All right, but I, I think I, I think I learned a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit though. Definitely still have a a lot to, a lot to learn. I think. But oh, we've got our stabby attack. We've got our shooty attack. We've got our dodge roll. We've got our block. Yeah, I still gotta figure out main and secondary. Oh, there we go. All right, okay. I just wasn't hitting, uh... Hitting the buttons in a timely fashion so that they actually were, uh... So they actually, um... Yeah, we're getting this whole cross attack. Okay. Now I understand, and that's pretty cool. We'll just practice this a little bit. You know, make sure we've got what it takes. And then maybe let our stamina regenerate. Okay. All right. A little bit of practice. That's all it takes. And... You know what? I like this. I like this path right here. Alright, so there it is. The deeper we go, the more corruption we get. And I assume we can also grab corruption from other sources, since last time we were in a similar situation. Okay. Maybe the idea is roll after. Okay, and get a bit of light, because that way, that way we're stronger, or at least that's the... That's the assumption that I choose to believe, anyway. Nicely done. Alright. Again, I got a little stab happy there, I think, but hey. It works. That's that's not how that works, is it? No, we walk around. Okay. That's perfectly Oh, yeah, maybe we want some some light on the situation. Okay. Oh god. Okay. 
Now that was actually kind of cool. You see, I can be taught. It sometimes takes a while, but I, I get there sooner or later. Whoop. We've actually done pretty good at not getting hit, so pretty proud of myself for that one. Yeah, that was that was considerably less good, but Oh. Maybe they're Oh no. I can't go back and also there's something glowing on the floor there. Dang. Let me out. Well. Lesson learned. Uh don't don't uh Don't go through rooms unless you're absolutely sure that it's where you want to go. Nicely done. Okay, so let's see. Balam's gift, more health. Uh, more gold. Or, more max health and more gold. Unfortunately, I don't have money for any of these things, so... Oh, sh oh shoot! Oh god! Alright, well, lesson learned there as well. Okay, so in the future, that's how we want to do that in order to damage our foes. And there is no way back. Okay, so mildly unfortunate. But now we also know that there is like secret walls and things, so we'll have to check that out at some point. So no stats. We could get a better weapon. Or I think I want to go for a relic because we haven't really done that yet. It's always good to get a nice little sampler of things when we're looking at something new. Okay, there's there's definitely nothing there. Whoa! Jimmy. Careful there, friendo. Whoop. Okay, this looks like we'd be able to go back the way we came. But just to be safe. Let's go this way instead. You know, j just in case. Hello. Oh, I was really hoping there was going to be... Yeah! Get some sunlight, fool! I mean, I know it's not really sunlight, but it's the best we've got down here in this hellish hell pit. I could have done better. I know I could have done better. Give me money. More money. All right. Spoiled effigy reduces blood offering corruption by 20%. Okay. Less corruption is always good. Can I burn these? Oh, I can't burn these. Nice. All right. And like this, like, there's pretty obviously a, uh, a secret passage here. But I don't know how to open it. Are we going to... There, there's got to be a, a secret to it. What are what these traps here? Why are they here? Hmm. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. To it, I'll admit. And I could be wrong about this, but doesn't it look like there's a secret passage back there? Because it kind of looks like there's a secret passage, unless maybe, maybe uh, if we come back later, uh, there'll be some kind of, uh, like we'll end up circling back and that'll be like a shortcut. Oh, there's no way, there's no way back. I, I was trying for something cool. Didn't quite work out the way I hoped. That did, though. Alright. I really should remember, light, light these things at the start of the battle. Definitely, definitely the smart play. Okay, base damage for maces. Unfortunately, we don't have... Oh, I, you know what I just noticed? I can actually offer blood. 
Why did I only just notice that? Let's see. Gold offering removes corruption or remove all corruption when a curse is relieved. Ah, eh, what the heck, I'll offer some blood. Probably not the best idea. Yeah, because that gave us more corruption. But you know what? I don't regret it. We made ourselves ever so slightly powerful, or more powerful. And for what? Well, I guess we'll find out. And I'm definitely gonna have to figure out how I open those secret passages. Like, is there a switch, or do I need to get an explosive weapon? Whoop. Okay. Went a little overboard on my stamina spending there, but I think it was worth it. Oh, this is gonna be a cool room, or it's gonna be full of mimics. Think mimics are a thing in this game? They could be. Time will tell. I guess there's also the question of, um... Oh. Oh god. Okay. Lesson learned. Be smart about these things. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna stun him for a second. That's what guns are for. Whoop. Nicely done. Okay. I gotta work on getting the combo kills as- whoa, hang on. Hmm. Well, I mean, I can see this is like totally a- a weak wall. Okay, but that doesn't do it. This doesn't do it. I mean, there were- oh, oh, hey, hang on. Swift lands. Charged attacks hit three times instead of two. Let's give this a little play. I mean, that's clearly not what we need in order to open that. Like, we can see the cracks, we can see there's stuff on the other side. We need an explosive of some sort. Unfortunately, it's not gonna happen today. You know what, I'm gonna be... Oh god, don't, maybe uh, save your stamina. All right, there we go. We get the light in there. Oop. I could have done better with that. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, bear with me here, bear with me. I can be a bit slow on the uptake, but sooner or later, I do learn my lesson. Even though, again, sometimes it takes a little while. Oh, Jeebus. Well, that's a very poorly designed trap by whoever the architects of this place were. Also, you know what, maybe... Alright, that, that, that's why we use our torches, so we can see what we're doing. But yeah, a trap that destroys itself. Whoever the architect of that room was, they totally should have got fired. Let's go to a haven. Might give us a chance to heal. I want to at least make it to that first boss. Alright, blood urns. So what does this do? Blood of the past victims is spread out like a fret. Small destructibles no longer contain gold, they are filled with blood. Blood heals at the price of some corruption. Okay. I wonder what happens if we're fully corrupted. Probably nothing good. Totally worth it. Maybe, possibly. Is there a secret? The arrows show the way. Oh wow, that's actually it. Okay, well. Yay yeah, us. Little bit more corruption. But that that's a cool balancing act because the game of course gets harder the more corruption we have. And so healing may not always be and we've got to go for it. 
really Indiana Jonesing this one. All right. Okay, that's a one-way trip, so we don't want to go there just yet. But we would like to go over here. Oh, it's a one-way trip no matter what way we go. Well, I see gold on this end, so, you know, that's totally... Totally the way to go. Oh god, I'm out. I'm get. What was the point of killing Gaslight? Oh god. Get out. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. But then I did it. Okay. I, I basically... Basically rendered all that uh, all that corruption I gained completely completely worthless, seeing as I have now burned all the health we gained back. Oh, hello. Okay, so we can't go back that way. Do I actually have to fight these things? Uh, the answer is yes. Nope. <laughs> Do. Holy balls. Okay. That was pretty rough. Okay, retaliation shield. After a parry, main weapons deal critical damage. So I have to get rid of the pistol to use it, though. Okay, but we can go like douche. Dupe. Dupe. Oh, wait, no. Right. I keep forgetting I actually have a parry button. I'm an idiot. It's okay. It happens. Leaping Claws. They do less damage, but critical damage for two seconds after a perfect dodge. I mean, we've got to go for it just to try something new, right? We also know we've got maces. Ah, what the heck. I'll, I'll heal myself a little bit. Oh. Oh no. It's just the bigger ones. Okay. Some of those bigger pots, they work out for us. Okay, so gold and then boss fight time. Also, I think, yep, we just got cursed again. Or rather corrupted. Living temple. Ornaments of cold stone suddenly brought to life. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, God, these are the jaguar statues. Well, might as well keep doubling down on our mistakes. Oh yeah, right. I should probably try shielding. Okay. Oh, I actually managed to shield. Nicely done. Less nicely done. Oh god, get out. I'm now confusing myself on what the controls are. Well played. Damage taken are now turning. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh god, no. Gaslight, you fool. You foolish fool. What are you doing? Oh, nope. Oh god. We're not gonna make it. I wanna make it to the boss. No! Well. Tunnel vision. That's what that's what happens. I get tunnel vision and then I, I just keep hitting the same button over and over again, even though I should be swapping up my tactics. Alright. But now I've got a feel for things, so next time around should probably be better. I mean I made exponentially better progress on our second run, so if that holds, we should be able to do even better next time and maybe keep our corruption down. Anyway, with that in mind. That's going to be the end of our first look here. We'll be coming back to play a little bit more, get a more of a feel for this. I want to get at least as far as there's content in the current alpha build, I reckon. But until then, till the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like with anything new on the channel, it's always extra double, super special important to hit that like button. Or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see all you in the next video.